next point here is the following, is that often ideas will only come to life if you act on them. But if you're really going to execute on an idea after you've done some initial assessment, you've got to build a team. Early on in any entrepreneurial venture, you're going to get teammates because of your passion and your vision. It's not just tasks. Pitch them what they can be a part of. Teach them to long for the immensity of the sea, your vision. I was out in Vietnam and, and working with businesses, seeing how they were being formed. And one of the interesting things is trying to form a business in a developing country is 10 times harder than it is starting it right here. One, you're dealing with potentially corrupt government, lack of infrastructure. And I was realizing that these entrepreneurs that I was meeting were doing incredible things with limited resources. And entrepreneurs were starting businesses that were leading to employment, that were leading to uh, goods and services that were really affecting people. And one of the lessons that I learned throughout this entire journey of my, you know, throughout the 2000s is it's so important to find your passions, to find out who you are and find opportunities to excite your passions and to grow your passions. For those of you who have ever done a startup, you know how emotional it gets. Entrepreneurship is not steady. What often doesn't get mentioned with entrepreneurs is that there's a support system behind them. You need a team, not only because you need to build something, but you need a team because you need to support one another, because it's so volatile as a startup. You're trying to change the world. You don't have any resources. You don't have any market traction or things like that. You want to have a team so that you can weather the emotional ups and downs. And something that we've learned over time is that when you're raising capital, you want to find investment partners. If you're going to raise money, find people that you can really, who really believe in what you're doing, not just chasing money. You know, when you try to grow a company and, and move it forward, there's a lot of things that you need to do. It doesn't just come. You don't grow a company overnight. And, you know, there are rare cases, and those are often the ones we cite. But there are rare cases. You've got to be able to understand all these other factors. And I think for entrepreneurs, often they think they know everything. The best entrepreneurs realize what they don't know, and they go find help for that. And one of the things that hopefully all of you can take with you is how do you stay humble, and how do you learn from those around you and find people who can help you understand things that you don't know. I want to close with keeping vision fresh. And one of the things that we as a company always want to go back to, and we're trying to do a better job, is, is we always want to come back to why we are doing something. And it needs to motivate you all the time.